how can H2 Plus make PFAS destruction cheaper than removal? Well, while most go for oxidation, they took the opposite route and picked reduction, and a special one at that. They take ultra pure water, mix it with a salt compound, and place that slurry inside a reaction vessel, inside a strong static magnetic field, then drive an electric current through it. This transforms water into a structurally altered gas molecule, which retains the two hydrogens for one oxygen ratio, but changes the bond angle. Once that structure is formed, they pump electrons inside, which creates hydrated electrons. They then inject this gas into the medium to treat, thus creating bubbles. PFAS hooks on those bubbles, which is the moment the hydrated electrons speak to blast their carbon fluor bond and destroy them. In a handful of pilots, H2 Plus proved that approach to successfully eliminate over 99% of the EPA-regulated compounds, even if less efficient on shorter chains. But at what cost? Today, the pilots run somewhat above removal technologies, but the company believes it has a path to bringing the costs under 10 cents per treated cubic meter. Ambitious, sure, and challenging, but maybe not unrealistic. So what do you think? Revolution or illusion?